Hey, hello everybody. I hope you are all fine. Codito is back here with you. So guys, we finished the the previous project. It was uh, in reality, guys. It it was it is an easy project, and um, I ju it just took me uh, five hours. Okay, it could took me less. Let's see. In reality, this project could took uh, three three and a half hours. This is the the correct uh, hour that uh, it can uh, last. But if you saw, I explained everything from scratch. This is the way to learn to understand things. Also, as you saw, guys, you face some problems. Uh, so I didn't want to cut this scene in order to understand that it's not easy creating things. Okay, sometimes you are going to uh, find yourself uh, discovering uh, some problems and you have to override these problems. You have to find ways to um, escape from these uh, difficulties and generally problems. This is the reason that in my videos I don't cut the scene with problems. Also, you can... Uh, Train yourself if you know, for example, things. Uh, when I find the uh, difficulty in this specific problem, for example, you can say, "Oh yes, I know the problem. Just do it. Why don't you do it?" But it's not easy, guys. Uh, uh, solving problems. So uh, we finally created this simple project. Simple. In reality, it's not so simple. The um, this pro project that we created, the main project behind the hood, as you saw, the, there is a lot of code, guys. A lot of code. There is the back end. Then you have to deal with the front end. Okay, you have to learn a couple of things of MongoDB. Then you have to upload the, to deploy it on uh, uh, on Heroku. This is the one way that I show you how to deploy a full stack application or website. Another way is to deploy it. Uh, you can deploy the front end, for example, on Netlify and the back end uh, on Heroku. This is another way I'm going to show you in another episode. Now it's time to start and dealing with simple, simple things. For example, we are gonna make projects, simple projects like uh, how to filter uh, items uh, in uh, React, how to filter with searching with buttons. There are some simple projects that I created with the uh, old, uh, old way with component, uh, with class-based components. We are not going. We are now going to use the newest way with it which is react hooks so something that i wanted to say that i want some uh, guys in my project that they say uh, why you didn't uh, use react redex i created a project it's a react shopping cart uh, it's a big project i know uh, i'm using their uh, react hooks and now and then I'm moving to React Redux. Uh, if you see this React Redux shopping cart, you will uh, learn the Redux. Personally, guys, personally, I don't like Redux, okay? I see many guys that they say they promote Redux, they say, okay, this is the best way of state ma management. I couldn't say that it's it's the best way of state management. Management. Now with uh, React hooks and context hooks, we can do everything. We can implement huge pro projects. So listen to me. React Redux has promotional ways, guys. It's sure that uh, it's not going to die because there are people behind the hood. They want to get paid from React. Redux, okay, and for this way, for this reason, they keep this framework alive 
and they try to get money from this thing. React Hooks is extremely powerful. The dudes that uh, that uh, discovered the hooks, di do you know what they said? They said that hooks were inside the atom of React. It was always inside there, and we couldn't see. And then we discover, we discover React hooks, which is the future of React. And in reality, is is a function, guys, and you can bring there as parameter a lot of things and boom you can do everything for this reason I like react hooks also a guy Ben Akued I don't see Ben uh, he's very famous on YouTube he says that uh, he, does, he doesn't like Redux uh, there are many guys and he believes that hooks is the future So this is my personal opinion. Does it mean that uh, the Redux uh, is bad, guys? Also, we are gonna create projects with Redux, but this is my personal opinion. What I like, okay? You might like using Redux, no problems, okay? Someone uh, likes uh, using uh, the old way, uh, class-based component. I don't like uh, using the word "old way." What matters? is uh, to create projects then now if you can create it with a class-based component or a redux or a hooks is another thing okay what matters is to create projects okay now if you go if you know the three ways what can i say you are cool everything that you know is good for you okay that was with the tutorial guys, I hope you enjoy it and uh, you know just press the like button, it's good for the channel and uh, if you are not subscribed, sub subscribe, just subscribe and again press the like button guys so have a nice day